Hey YouTube, today in this video we're going to go over a couple different ways that we create rust textures. These panels I painted up here for the tutorial and uh, you know, go over how we do that. Uh, we're going to go over what techniques you need to use um, and it's really, really simple guys. So anyway, let's get on into it. All right, so if you're really smart, you can tell I got four different colors set up in here and then of course mess my big old mess down here where I'm practicing stuff. Anyway, we're gonna do the paint. This is gonna make we'll make this look like rusty paint here. And so I just started with a very dull blue. You want it to be very dull if it's gonna be rusty metal. And then this is yellow ochre and burnt sienna a little bit. This is burnt umber and this is burnt sienna. And the streakier the better. All I've done to these panels is sprayed them out and put some 4030 over there just to protect them so that I don't pull paint all the way back off. You don't necessarily need the 4030, but I didn't want to wait a long time. Okay, first thing I want to do, I'll mix up this uh, dark brown, which is just some burnt umber mixed with a little bit of blue violet. It's kind of a dark brown. Uh, nothing crazy there. And I'm going to start out with, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave my blue alone right now. I'm just going to spray off of this. I've shown you the splatter effect before. Spray off like this. If you got a splatter cap, great. If not, you know. If not, then you just do it this way. Making some big, huge splatters. Well, that's still good and wet. Do some orange in here for this one. I'm just gonna spray a lot of orange on here. Uh, Go and take a little bit of Windex, regular old spray bottle of Windex, and I'm gonna squirt it on there lightly. Let it sit there for a moment. And I'm going to take a sponge. Start tamping it off. If you have any spots where you got too much of uh, the dark color on there, Let that sit just a little bit more. You can dab it a little bit more. And you can do this with alcohol. Alcohol is much more regressive than Windex. So it all depends on how much of that effect you want to put in here. I want to do this in smaller sections right now. I got a little bit of sepia in here. Let's do this one. Sepia. Just gonna take my sponge. If I let that, there's still Windex on my sponge when I was wiping that last off. A little sepia here. Let's do it a little more streaky on this one. And we'll hit that one with the Windex again and leave that set. Let's see what happens when it sits there for a moment. We'll put a little bit of sepia on this bottom one. I want it a little bit lighter because we're going to put some lettering in that one. But we're going to just get streaky here with our sepia. I guess that's all I got in cups. That's all I'm going to put in there for now. Hit that with a little bit of Windex.
and tamp it off right away. Any spots that you thought you pulled back too far, you can just add a little color in on them. Mixed up a dirty kind of orange color. It's orange basically with just a little bit of blue in there. And I'm gonna get a little bit different with this one. Um, I'm gonna grab my texture effects and just kind of go in here. I'm just gonna create some cracks and stuff like that. Real fast. Um, here, that orange is just gonna enhance the light spots run it over the whole thing a little bit takes on that orangish tone pretty cool look put some more orange on that one we're gonna leave the bottom alone we'll hit that one with just a little bit a couple drops of windex here dab it off same thing on the one on the left hand side just a tiny little bit notice when I'm spraying these I'm not like I'm not hammered it on I'm just leaving little dots if you leave those little dots in there that'll eat through create some cool textures for you and then now what we're gonna do, we're gonna let this dry a little bit and I'm gonna do some letters right here all right while we're waiting there for the rest of that to dry i'm gonna take and get some white um it's just gonna be dirty i just threw it right in my cup in my dirty cup and i'm gonna gently with because the old blue all i'm trying to do is give it that chalky faded effect on the blue so it's just a tiny little bit put on there and it just looks like the paint is fading out a little bit i'm going to just take a little bit of orange see right there it's a little dirty i'm going to start coming in from the top and just start streaking this thing Now, if you feel like you can't get those textures realistic enough, I put, you worried about realistic textures, take and mix a really, really thin wash. Over spray it let that drip run down and then you can chase it a little bit with your airbrush really really thin to down paint you add a little bit more paint to that a little bit more of that orange to it <clears throat> and 
And that's just orange over the top of that blue right now. Let that dry just a little bit. A little bit of burnt sienna, which is really close to orange anyway. We'll get in here and enhance that a little bit. If you really like this look and you don't want to have to put any work into it, I got a car for you. Just dial 8675309. I'm going to take some Windex, put it right on my dirty on my sponge. I'm going to lightly dab it. Went a little too far. That's okay. We still got paint. Let it crack. When you cover them up, just create more depth. We'll just go ahead and skip straight into some sepia. Sepia. Just threw it right there in my dirty cup. And then we're just going to come down here, around these edges, start coming down to the top. And just make streaks. Staying inside our orange. Mostly. You know, a little creativity go a long way. I mean, you guys can, can change this up pretty much any way you want. And that just gives the effect of that rust that's, uh, you know, um, dripping down over the paint. Uh, just a little bit of red violet in here. Darken that mix up at the top and start throwing some really darker stuff in here it's got some red violet in it and you can see those violet tones if you want if you look and pay attention it's red violet mixed with that sepia we gotta stay we want to stay mostly still inside you know those original orange tones and then you can put little spots in it with some texture shields, and if you don't have texture stencils, um, I do have a video on how to make your own Mylar texture stencils. Um, not going to get down to this the centerpiece, but let's go ahead and do see if we can do a little bit more work with this rust up here, and we can start doing that around here, a little low. Um, Crack like stuff over the outer edge. Add some cracks in. Here and there. You see we're almost purple. But by the time I get on top of this stuff. If you're a real frugal consumer then you can just use a piece of torn paper or you can make your own texture stencils. You know, of course, obviously, I've got some of my own. Uh, if you guys haven't been around here before and you like what you're seeing, hey, if you would, go ahead and at the end of the video, make sure you like the video, give me the thumbs up. If you don't, you can always throw the thumbs down. You know, that's cool with me too. And, uh, you know, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and turn on the no all the notifications for YouTube so that you can get informed of all the other videos we got coming out. Plus, if you haven't been around here before, I got a bunch of other videos you can check out. Anyway, let's get back into it. <clears throat> it's frugal consumer. Let's do this. Okay, now I have put some stickers. I let that dry for a little bit. And I put some stickers 
on here. Uh, spelling out uh, R-U-S-T. Rust. Okay, so I spelled rust. Uh, that T's a little bit crooked. Let's, uh, we'll don't worry about it. Now I'm going to decide a light source. This is for my embossed boss lettering. I'm going to figure out my light source. My light source is going to come in this way. So, what we're going to do is we're going to shade everything. If the light was hitting it this way, we're going to shade everything to put a drop shadow basically in there. So, everything on this side we'll get a shadow. Might go ahead since we'll do some streakies down from. Like we did with the. That's in addition to our drop shadows. We're doing this like we did on the blue pedal up there. Whereas rain would be hitting that and dripping off. Running down and the rust would oxidize a little bit differently. Gonna take my sepia, run it around these edges gently, all the way around. All right, guys, thanks a lot. I appreciate y'all stopping by. For those of you that are interested, I'm used all Createx Illustration paints on this here today. If you guys are interested in the materials that I use and the things that I use to paint with, you can always hit the links down below. They'll be in the description of the materials that I use, and those are affiliate links. You know how those, those work. Um, you know, if you guys want to help out the channel, biggest thing you can do, always, always, always just give me the thumbs up. Leaving comments down below is helpful as well. And, of course, if you're really feeling generous, you could jump over to my Patreon and leave me a donation. I don't have any, any special information on Patreon, but I do allow donations in there. The uh, smallest donation I can take is a buck. But, uh, you know, that is what it is. But anyway, we appreciate y'all stopping by. I am Bill Kennedy with W. Leon Artistry. If you've never been here before, anyway, y'all have a good day. Bye.